Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. So today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. I know I usually post reviews on this channel, but a lot of people have been requesting me to do an uploaded, or not uploaded, updated tea collection video. So I'm gonna do all of my teas, ever. Um, I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can, but also tell you how I like to prepare it and what's the best way to make it, and sometimes how I got the tea, because some people are like, oh, how'd you get that tea if it's retired? So I'm going to quickly go through them. I'm going to kind of do it differently. So I'm going to be doing my tins. I'm going to be sorting my tins by like what kind of tea it is. Then I'm going to be going through my matchas. I'll be doing every kind of tea. I'm going to go through my random bags. I'm going to go through my restock pile and my large mega bags, my mega tins, other brands of tea, just everything. This is going to be a really long video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to be going through my tins, my herbals first. So... We have Hibiscus Splash. This one's really good as um, cold brew. Cantaloupe Ice. This is an oldie, but a really good cold brew is the best way to make that one. Forever Nuts. Um, just in that tin, ice latte all the way with honey. Um, white Cranberry Bark Cold Brew. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite herbals. That's one of the best teas. Um, caramel Shortbread. I have a tin of that. I don't drink that one too often. It's pretty good, though. I don't, I don't know if you can ice latte that one. Uh, sleigh Ride in this old tin. That one's really good. Cold brewed. Um, apple Cider. This one is really good. I stocked up on this one last year when it went on deep, deep discount. Rosé All Day. I just found a bunch of this tea. It is one of the best teas that David C. has ever come out with. I just have it in this old gourd tin from last year. Um, frosted Cereal. This one, they, it comes back and forth. It all depends on how David C. is feeling on bringing it back. Ice Latte is the best way to go on that one. Blueberry pancakes. This one is either iced or hot. I do like it iced more. You cannot latte it because of hibiscus. Valerian nights. This one I like hot before bed. Sometimes. This is dragon fruit aloe. This I ended up stocking up on. They had it like 80% off in store. Really good iced with honey. This one they had on discount as well. This is strawberry moringa. This one's really good iced. Cold brewed. Pear Blossom. This is a good tea. I had to search far and wide for Pear Blossom and my little eye tin from last Halloween. Moringa Mermaid. This one came out in the Splash Collection 2018. That was one of the best summer collections they came out with. Really, really nice. Maui Madness. This is another really good one as an iced latte if you want to spice it up a little bit. Midui India. This one is like a mango with a little bit of like a zing to it. That one's really good too. Cold brewed, of course. Wild Strawberry. This one, I ended up looking far and wide on the group, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. I'm going to love it. I ended up getting it, and it's it has a weird flavor. It might be from the rosemary. I think this one has rosemary in it, but it just turned me off, and now this one's not really... I don't really like that one, so I might sell it. Um, and Raspberry Leaf Bliss. Uh, this one's really good for periods and for pregnant women. So those are all my tins. I'm gonna go to now my green teas. So the first green tea in my tin is Honeycrisp Apple. This one's really good um, cold brewed. Um, you can cold brew this one. It gets a teeny, teeny bit bitter because of the green tea, but it's nothing drastic. So I like to cold brew that one for maximum flavor. Pure Vita, this one is really, really nice with honey, kind of like a coconutty kind of creamy tea. <clears throat> This one is Butterfly Jasmine. This one is really good, iced and hot with honey. Really expensive though, so. This one's not labeled, but it is goji green. I really do enjoy this one. It's kind of like a sour candy kind of taste. It's really good. Very cherry. I never make this one. It's so good. This is one of their best cherry teas. Completely like iced with honey. So good. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Horchacha. This is one of the best David's teas that has ever come out. It is literally like creamy, like cinnamon sugar milk. That's exactly what this tastes like. Incredible as an iced latte. Toasted walnut. This one's an oldie but a goodie. Very, very good. And I also have let it snow. This one's okay. I'm just trying to finish this one up. It's good in small amounts and spaced apart, I find with this tea. I remember the one time I ended up stocking up on this one and I bought too much of it and got sick of it and had to sell it all. So that was great. So those are all my green teas in the tins. Now let's move on to my white teas. 
So I don't have too many white teas, but I do have a good amount in tin. So I have raspberry meringue. This one is so good. Ice um, as an ice latte and cold brewed, really nice. Same with this one, white peach, one of the best peach teas that David's Tea has ever come out with. If you guys want a good peach tea, don't even waste your time with um, just peachy. Just go right for white peach. Expensive but good. Palma Grateful. This one is really, really nice with honey. Really nice as a cold brewed tea. Gratefully yours. This one's okay. I think I just got a bunch of those samples and put it in a tin. Zomba Pearls. This one I got on sale when it was $4.99 for 50 grams. Sometimes they do this thing where they, if they re-release a tea, they'll kind of like re-upload it from when it was last on sale and then change the price. So I was able to get a bunch of it for $4.99 for 50 grams. Merry Mistletoe. This one's really good hot or iced with honey. And Deep Blue Spirulina. This one I'm kind of over. I used to love this tea, but now I'm just like, eh. So we'll see what happens with this one. So let's move on to my oolongs. I thought that this would be a little bit easier. I kind of have my teas just kind of laid out here. Um, I just emptied out my shelving and I'm just, this is just easier. <laughs> so for oolongs, I have cinnamon oolong. This one's really good with brown sugar, honey, and milk. Silver bell oolong. This one, oh, I don't know where it's been all my life. It's a mix of white, green, and milk oolong tea. It is literally the best oolong I've had. Like, it is so good. I stocked up on this when it went on sale for like the 50 plus the extra like 30 or 25% off. I got it for like three bucks per 50 grams when it's usually like 15. Please do not waste your, or please do not waste your money. Please do not miss up on this tea. It is so good as an iced latte with honey. Amazing. 11 pound cake. This one, I'm kind of over it. I didn't mind it, but now I'm just kind of over that one white nectarine I don't know where this has also been I have one tin and I'm still I if you guys look on my Facebook page I still have it for ISO I'm still on the hunt for this tea trying to get as much as I can of white nectarine salted caramel oolong incredible as an iced latte and strawberries and cream this one you can't ice latte or hot latte because it does have hibiscus but iced or hot is extremely good especially iced so those are my oolongs and since i'm here i think i'm just gonna go through my black teas all right so black tea ice cream cake this one is hard to find this is an old 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 tea if i get my hands on any more of this i will scream i just i drink this sparingly because i don't have a lot of it the earl's valentine this one's okay i do prefer bergamot kisses or chocolate earl gray over this one basically the old version of that organic earl gray i don't really drink this i think i just drink this one i'm just like over flavors of tea rose lemonade this tea is amazing i don't have very much left santa's secret this one is another very nice kind of vanilla pepperminty tea it's very light good as a nice latte mocha chai this one's very good i only like this if made a latte i find by itself it's very 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 strong and pungent and i'm not able to drink it alone or by itself banana grapefruit this one's amazing as an ice latte as well incredible if you cold steep it palm cider this just entered my life and i only had three bags so i filled my tin up and it's still on my iso list this is another incredible tea incredible pomegranate tea Satsuma spice cake, amazing. Um, kind of tastes like an orange chocolate cinnamon roll, really good. Lady marmalade, another amazing black fruit tea. Roasted chestnut, I don't even, is this even a black tea? I think it is. This came in the holidays of 2021. It came for like two weeks and then disappeared and never came back. Um, I was lucky enough to get myself a little bit, so I don't really drink this one too often. It's very nutty, it's very good, and it also has stevia and hazelnut and chestnut. I think it's both hazelnut and chestnut. You can see the, um, I think, let's see if we can get a hazelnut piece in there. You can kind of see the chestnut and hazelnut pieces in there. Really good tea. Southern lemon. I can't even tell you how good this is. This is basically 
a diet sweet tea from the States. If you guys want sweet tea but don't want all the crap in it, buy that. Um, Peach Mai Tai. This one's also from the Splash Collection 2018. Another really good one. Iced on uh, ice latte. You can ice latte it, but I have had an ice latte. It's good. Brown Sugar Bourbon. This one never came back. It comes back and forth, but currently it's not available. This one's another really, really good one as an ice latte. Um, probably going to get some more. Uh, let's see. Vanilla Bean Black. This one's okay. I had it hot today for breakfast. And it, mm, it's all right. Monkey business. I have to buy more of this. This tastes amazing as an ice latte. You can tell I really like to do ice lattes, but it basically tastes like banana flavored animal crackers. Sweet potato pie. This one I like, but I'm not obsessed with. So many people obsess over this tea like it's the next coming. I'm just like, eh, it's great, but it's not like, holy cow. And then my last black tin is uh, the Earl's Garden. This one's really, really good. It's a strawberry based black tea. I'm waiting for it to go on sale so I can stock up. So uh, next I'm gonna go through my rooibuses and then my matchas and my yerba mates and pu'ers. Okay, so now on to my rooibuses. Um, I have a pretty good amount of rooibus, um, just not a lot in the tins. So I have birthday cake, amazing with honey as an ice latte. Um, oh Canada, this one I stocked up on like no tomorrow when it went on sale last year. Very, very, very sweet. The sweetest David's tea I've ever had, but you have to cut it with milk. If you don't cut it with milk, you're basically having like a sugar shock. Lavender buttercream. This one's good. Um, not the best lavender tea I've had though. Toasted marshmallow. This one is incredible as an ice latte. I am currently making it for tomorrow for work as an ice latte. It's in the fridge right now. Amazing. Cotton candy. This is a classic. This is what got me into David's tea from the start. Um, it's just, I can't say anything better. It's it's a great tea. Orange Dreamsicle. This one, I feel like I only like as an ice latte or a hot latte. It's very, um, the orange peel is very strong in this. And if you cold brew it, it gets very, not bitter, but the orange peel comes out like no tomorrow. It's kind of like you get that tanginess from the orange peel. It's okay. I obsessed over it before and now I'm just like, eh. Mango number five. This one came out last year or the year before. It's a mango with lemongrass tea. Pretty good, actually. Cinnamon rooibos chai. This one I can either, I can't have it hot alone because it's just too much. Um, I can have it iced alone. I can have it as an ice latte or hot latte, but I can't do it hot alone. It's too, I'm not a fan of chai teas anyways, um, unless they're like super creamy. Um, and then Alpine Punch. This one tastes like Amaretto Cookie. And Blueberry Shake. One of the best rooibuses that they've come out with. So I have a bunch stocked up on that. And Monster Mash. This one's okay. Um, this is the newer one. Um, yeah, it's alright. Nothing really to say about that one. And since we're here, I'm just going to go through my Yerba Mate slash Pu'er. Uh, oat Milk Latte. Really, really good if you don't want coffee, but you want that coffee taste. Bumbleberry Burst. This one, it's okay. I can only really have it iced. It's a weird one. And then Chocolate Rocket. This one's amazing. I had it this morning as an iced latte. I had it last night hot. One of the best Yerba Mates I've ever had. It's, it's, it's amazing the way that they did this. It's chocolate and raspberry. So, so, so good. So, since we're here, let's get my matchas. So, we have... Bubblegum matcha. This one's very good. Berries and cream matcha. Another favorite. Strawberry matcha. Another favorite. I have my matchas kind of like the first aisle. Um, salted caramel matcha. I cannot tell you how good this matcha is paired with oat milk. Ugh. As an ice latte, it's chef's kiss. I can't. They sold out and I didn't buy enough. I'm just so upset. And then cream of Earl Grey Matcha. This one's actually retiring. I was able to grab an extra 200 grams just to kind of hold me over. Very, very good. Way better than the regular Earl Grey Matcha. The Earl Grey Matcha is just disgusting. It's bland. It's like bitter. It's it's not very nice. Gingerbread Matcha. This one's okay. I don't really like that one. Um, and then I also have Chai Matcha downstairs. Chai Matcha is amazing. It's very creamy. It's not spicy at all. It's amazing. I have that one downstairs, but I do also have a whole thing of chai matcha, wild honey matcha, a favorite. I've stocked up on that one. 
uh raspberry matcha the boyfriend really likes that one it tastes like cotton candy matcha uh lavender honey matcha another one i went nuts over and had to find it all the way around the world this one is candy cane matcha this one i haven't drank and i've had this for like a couple years and i'm just like eh, it's okay it's not my favorite mango matcha this one i don't have a lot of I don't care for this matcha. It's not flavorful to me at all. It's very, very, very light with the flavor profile. Orange Dreamsicle Matcha. This one's very good. It's still more, it's creamier than Orange Dreamsicle. The, um, it's creamier than the tea, but it's still not like my favorite favorite. Peach Matcha, another one that's not a favorite. I just have it in case someone wants it. Blueberry Matcha, a lot of people love this one. I like it too. And then back there is honeydew matcha and pumpkin pie matcha. Honeydew matcha, too light for me. Pumpkin pie matcha is amazing too. Um, it's amazing. I don't love it. Like, I'm not, like, obsessing over it. But I do have it stocked up, which is good. Um, so those are all of my matchas in the tins. Now I'm going to go through my mega tins. I think that's the best thing to go to next. And before I forget, I also have cherry lacuma. This is amazing. Another amazing cherry tea. And I also have cherry blossom matcha in like a medium sized tin. Okay, so I have all of my mega tins and my medium sized tins. So these teas are very special to me. They're very, I have a lot of. <laughs> and I, most of them like, am still continuing to look for they're still on my iso um i don't even know how many megatons i have i think around 20 maybe one two i think around 20 or 15 i'm gonna say and then these are my medium sized tins so i'm just gonna quickly go through them i think there's gonna be two parts to this video this is after this is done i'm going to make a second video with my refills and my other teas and my mega bag so that'll be the second part of the video <sighs> okay so i think i'm gonna go through my medium-sized tins i have candy cane crush that one's really nice for the winter jingle bell chai amazing amazing creamy 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 tea lychee bellini one of the best um black teas to do a cold brew rhubarb cream soda i have a lot of that one that one's really good probably my favorite white tea lavender swirl this is filled i can't like see how it's kind of peeking out i can't fill this anymore i'm still looking for this tea it's incredible i love it incredible and unicorn dream i did sell a bunch of this just because i'm not like obsessed with it but it's a good tea to have in the collection and then just a random maple syrup oolong i bought this when it was on sale all right megaton time prancer's punch this one i thought was caramel corn coming back and it wasn't I was so disappointed. I stocked up for nothing. It's an okay tea. I'm kind of getting sick of it, so who knows what's going to happen to it next. Be the change. This one a lot of people hate. I love this tea. I love it for nighttime with honey. Hot. Really nice. Um, Buddha's Blend. This is just your typical white tea. Next is Tropical Breeze by Tea Lyra, but it is actually and david's tea's hard candy if you guys really miss hard candy you can find it on the t lyra website it is tropical breeze i have that as a mega tin because it's so good peanut butter cup another really good one as an iced latte tropic tango one of the best mango teas that they've ever come out with cherry blossom another classic so just beautiful a beautiful blend uh raspberry cream pie is matcha all over it another amazing delicious tea as an iced latte so good um chocolate earl grey i actually hated this when this came out as bergamot kisses but now i'm obsessed with it so good cherry berry punch one of the best cherry teas that they have ever come out with as an iced um cold brewed it's beautiful. It doesn't get bitter. It is the best, one of the best cherry teas they've come out with ever. White pumpkin. This one's pretty good. I'm kind of over this one, but it's really good as an iced latte cold brewed. Um, coconut cream pie. Probably my all-time favorite oolong. I've stocked up on this like no tomorrow. Miami melon. Another incredible tea. 
pistachio ice cream. This one is only really good um, made with milk, I find. Matcha ice cream. This one is one of my favorites, hands down. Cardamom macchiato, another delicious tea as an iced latte. Um, hot latte, hot or cold. Melon drop. This one came out last year and it's just, I bought this so much on sale. Love it. Coco Colada, another incredible tea. You cannot latte this because it has hibiscus, unfortunately, unless you take the hibiscus out, but I find it really tasty with the hibiscus. Mango Boost, this one's very sweet as well. Probably one of the best mango teas as well. Tropicalia, this one's really good as a ice latte. Movie Night, this tin is destroyed. I got this in 2019. Um, really good as a latte as well. Banana Nut Bread, this one is the best banana tea I've ever had in my life. If you make this for about, mm, if you put it in a jar, um, brew it, and then put it in the fridge for about 12 to 14 hours, then make it into an iced latte, that's how you properly make this tea. If you put it in the steeper for five minutes and expect it to be good, good luck, because you're just wasting tea. You have to let this steep for more than 12 hours for it to really come out. And my all-time favorite that I don't know if I'll ever find again, but Caramel Corn by David's Tea. Literally, if any of you guys that watch my videos are selling this, please let me know. <laughs> it's just amazing. So this was the first half of my David's Tea collection, or not David's Tea collection, just my tea collection in general. Um, I'm going to be making a part two to this just to kind of even out the videos. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of this collection video so far. I know I'm a nut when it comes to tea, so I'm not surprised there, but I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any other kind of tea videos besides this one. Um, just because so many people have requested seeing my collection because they see how much tea I drink in a day. So stay tuned for part two.